in the hearts of those who seek to find it. I'm often reminded of how it eludes those who think that it is hidden. When truth be told, it is all around us, waiting to be uncovered and discovered from within. Beauty is present to bring pleasure that we can treasure throughout the ages as we turn the pages of our lives. Why does beauty seem to hide behind images that are fleeting and fading and often waiting in hypocrisy and lies? It is often disguised by what appears to be real. The only problem is when it is captured, it leaves you hollow and full of sorrow and regret. You are because God made you that way and God does not make junk. Oh, come on and tell the Lord, thank you. I want to, first of all, give honor to God Almighty who, if it had not been for him, there's no way I could stand before you. Many of you all have heard and read about my testimony in my first book, As Long as It's Breath in Your Body, There's Hope. But I have to share it everywhere I go. And that is the fact that I once was bound, hopelessly addicted to drugs and alcohol for 12 years. But by the grace and glory of God, amen. amen. By the grace and glory of God, amen. He healed me, delivered me, and set me free so that I could be free for good. Amen. And it's been over 20 some years, and I give God all the glory. Just look at your name and say, You are beautiful. But I know so many times, and I can say from personal experience, we don't realize how beautiful we are, ladies. We don't realize it because we don't understand our wealth. And so many times we don't understand our wealth because of circumstances that have gone on in our lives. Things that have happened in our past that have, that have been passed down from generation to generation. But I just want to tell you the good news today. And that is Jesus will give you beauty for ashes. Come on and tell the Lord God. In the book of Isaiah 61.3, it states to anoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The Hebrew word for beauty in the above scripture is par, and it means a headdress, an ornament, a turban. The Hebrew word for ashes is offer, and it means ashes, and figuratively, it means worthlessness. The Lord is making the declaration that he will give beauty for ashes to those who are mourning and feeling worthless because of the stain of the past or present circumstances. Oftentimes, ladies, we have a tendency to feel bad and ugly because of the things that we've done in our past. No matter how beautiful you may be, it can be overshadowed by the things that have happened to you. Sometimes it is subconscious mourning when you are grieving the loss of innocence and past hurt and shame. And let me tell you something about mourning, lady. Mourning is usually accompanied by crying. And as you know, when we cry, crying can affect our appearance. It can reduce dark circles under swell red eyes, mascara and makeup smearing, red nose that is running, and inevitably hair messed up and standing straight up on your head. Come on now. 
Have you ever been there? Yeah. I know I have many times before. It is hard to look beautiful while in mourning because of the ashes that you have been feeding on. Isaiah 44, 20 says he feeds on ashes, a deceived heart have turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, is there not a lie in my hand? The worthlessness that you are feeling, ladies, is really deception. And it can put you in a very downcast, ugly mood. The truth is found in the good news in Isaiah 61, 3, because it is a prophecy talking about Jesus. As a matter of fact, it is within the context of this prophecy that we're given a glimpse of the things that Jesus was to accomplish through the anointing of the Holy Spirit when he came as the Messiah. Jesus Christ came, ladies, to take away the worthlessness that represents the ashes of our lives and to give us beauty. And you 